All right, everybody, just give us a few seconds. We are getting ready to go live, and we're having a little audio problem, so just bear with me one second, folks. As we all know, when we go live, this does happen, and we like to make sure that things are done the right way. So just bear with us a few more seconds as we fix this audio problem. And I'm being told that it will be fixed momentarily. So just bear with me a few more seconds, folks. Um, I'm excited to go live today. I am excited to bring this episode to you live. And I know that we are just moments away because I'm about to get a thumbs up. So give me one more second. Looks like they're giving us the okay over at Spreaker to go live. Hold on. We're hoping that everybody's still with us here, folks. They're just telling me they're rebooting the actual, uh, uh, okay, I'm being told now they're rebooting the audio, okay. This happens, folks. It's, hey, it's live. What can you do? You know, the one thing that you do is you can't lose your cool. (laughs) You just got to sit back and say, hey, we're live, and this is what it's all about. This is what makes this show so much fun is that we don't edit, we don't go anywhere but we just take our time and we just sit there and say you know what one way or another we're going to uh get the show right up and running i'm being told to have to plug in my usb port so i strongly apologize for all of you we're about to go live in a second i know that a lot of you are getting ready to go to work and they ensured me that this was ready to go and it looks like Okay, I'm just getting the nod now. It's 45 seconds and we'll be on the air, folks, uh, officially for the show. And there it goes. It's You probably heard that noise. They are launching things right now as we speak. Eh, it's a funny It's a funny feeling when you're actually doing something uh, live on and all of a sudden the audio doesn't work and you're like, uh-oh, uh, what do I say now? What do I do now? Well, you know what we'll do? We'll do what I always do. I start doing my... Uh, daily prayer just before we launch and we will start that way so just bear with me one one second folks we will be on in about 20 seconds all right this is good it's not too far back all right not a problem all right thank you for that are we going on facebook live now yeah i've got yeah because i sent a i sent an audio check on that earlier that's why all right, cool. Yep. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay, there's the audio. That's what we're talking about, folks. We are about to we are about to go live on this rainy day. And we are queuing up Facebook Live for the first time, everybody. So for those of you that are on Spreaker or on our, our platform, you're actually getting an opportunity to listen to me prior to the show going on the air, and we are officially about to launch uh, this episode right now on the air on our YouTube channel. will be done later, but as far as anything else, this is going to be live, and it will be on Facebook in about 10 seconds. They're just launching it right now. I see it loading. I guess it's a little different when we go live also on a podcast uh, through Facebook because they have to make sure that the music we're going to play is legitimate. And it looks like they're going live now. All right, everybody, here we go. For those of you that are joining us for the first time on Facebook, we would like to welcome you. Um, this is our very first broadcast on Facebook. We're about to go. We're about five minutes late because we're supposed to start at 7 a.m. But we're about to go live right now on our normal app. Uh, which is available to you on the following platforms, and those platforms are Spreaker, iTunes, um, iHeartRadio, we are available on Spotify, we're available on uh, SoundCloud, uh, we are now also available on uh, Cast, uh, CastBox Player, Player FM, and we are just continuing to move along. So folks, give me about 12 seconds as I join in the app, which is normally done every weekday at 7 a.m., Uh, They have me over here posting on Facebook that we're going live, so that's why you see me on the camera moving it very, very fast. So this is the way it's going to go. We're going to approach all of you in about 12 seconds. So here we go, everybody. We're about to go live in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're going to cue my goddaughter, Gabby Santana, and here we go.
Have faith, let it begin. Hello everyone, my name is Angel and this is Have Faith, Let It Begin. For the first time ever, we are broadcasting to you live on Facebook and it is an honor to come into your homes each and every weekday as we go live every uh, weekday 6 a.m. And that is available to you on the following platforms. Spreaker, iTunes, Podcast Player, iHeartRadio, Tumblr, Player FM, SoundCloud, and of course, we welcome the Spotify family. We are broadcasting to you now live right now. I'm looking into the camera to Facebook viewers, and this will be available to you today uh, as it is my off day uh, for my primary job, and it is now an opportunity to come to your homes via Facebook. So welcome all the viewers. I see Sigfredo's on. We welcome you. God bless you, my friend. We've got Yolanda is actually a fellow, fellow co-worker of mine. Good luck today, and uh, we've got so many people that are on, so we want to just welcome you, and let's get started, folks. Somewhere along the way, um, we must learn that there is nothing greater to do than to do something for others. Um, you probably saw the title, and the, titles, the title this morning was, uh, was said to be Helping Others. You know, in our daily lives, we are equipped with so many uh, gifts, so many treasures. We are asked to go out into the world and to change the world. And some of us have a calling. Some of us feel that we need to go out there and share the love, share the excitement, share the joys that we have each and every day. One of the things that I feel that I've been blessed with is the joy of happiness, the joy of, of you know, friendliness, and of course, the gift of patience. Many of you have written to this show and said, how do I do that when my daily life includes dealing with negative people? dealing with people that I cannot control. You know, that is a very, very true fact. Sometimes there are things in life that are out of our control. What is in our control is our faith. Our faith is something that is more powerful than anything that you will ever have. Believing in God and trusting in Him, believing in all that He is capable of giving you, and that is strength, determination, and the will, and the drive, especially to survive when you're battling a storm. One of the things that I was thinking about as I was driving home yesterday and giving you a live show from home, from the car, was how often our parents seek us out for help. How often our parents ask us to do a favor. And often I see, I see others don't having time for their parents, not making the time for their parents. That breaks my heart because our parents brought us into this world. They gave us the gift of love. They were kind to us. They were the first person that we touched, the first person that touched us, the first person that we laid eyes on as we came into this world. They still continue to provide you with that love and support when you battle your storms. And when they ask for one favor, when they ask for one thing, you should never tell them no. You should always tell them, yes, what can I do for you? I'll be there in a few minutes. Now let's be real. We have our own lives, and sometimes we're in the middle of something. But it doesn't mean you can't take the time to tell them that you will be there for them at a moment's notice. It doesn't take much to say to them, Dad, Mom, I'm sorry, I'm busy at this very second. When I am free, allow me to come and help you. You know, yesterday as I was leaving work, it was pouring. And I saw a young lady who was um, at, our, at our job. She was selling different types of honey, different types of uh, products. And at the end of the day, they pack up and they walk their things back to the car. What I noticed was this one young lady was packing up her things. It was pouring rain. And she was all by herself. As I was getting ready to leave, I saw a coworker of mine helping her out. I said, oh, I didn't know you were with her. And she goes, I'm not, but it's pouring out and I, I don't want her stuff to get wet. Within, without even thinking, I dropped my bags and I began to help her. I began to show that it's, the, it's just the little, littlest thing taking about five minutes out of my time to help lift additional boxes so that we can make many, much work feel light, um, allowing two people become three people. That's two, four, six hands now helping this young lady. And it was that one idea that my coworker had that allowed me to help as well. And when other people saw that two people were helping, as I looked around, there was an additional two more and three more. And before you know it, all the boxes 
were in the lady's car. And you know what? It felt good. And that's what I'm talking about. It's about helping others. This past week, I was getting off of my shift, a shift that wasn't even mine. I was working a night shift and I decided to you know, take a different way out the door as I was exiting. I saw that there was a gentleman with his hood up. Security was there. They were trying to start the car. It just so happens that the gentleman was next to my car. They had trouble starting the vehicle with a jump start. They had trouble trying to get the vehicle to start up. So the hardest thing that I noticed was I, uh, the one thing I noticed, I should say, is I had jumper cables in the back of my car. Always have. Why? Because I've always had cars that have broken down. You know what I'm talking about. So I said to myself, well, this is a great opportunity for me to get involved. So I offered my services. I offered an opportunity to help them in any way, shape, or form. What I didn't know was about an hour before I got off my shift, the gentleman that was needing help with his vehicle was the same gentleman that called me asking help from security. When he heard my voice, he said, I spoke to you. You're the one that actually provided me security. I said, that was me. He says, well, I appreciate it. I really do. I just can't believe that it's ironic that it's you sitting next to my, you know, parked next to my car and offering me help. I appreciate everything that you're doing. Well, the jumpstart couldn't work. The jumpstart didn't take effect. But when I took my car and turned it around and brought my cables out, I plugged them in and the gentleman really didn't know how to do it. So I showed him. I explained to him the things that you needed to do to jumpstart the vehicle. It took a few minutes. Normally a jumpstart can happen instantly. Sometimes it takes about maybe two or three minutes. I'm not an expert. But what I did notice was it took longer than usual, at least to my experience. And that's when he noticed I had a cross. And he said to me, you know, It's nice to see that there's people out in the world that are willing to do something kind for others. And I says, honestly, it's the right thing to do. And I really wasn't even supposed to walk out this way. I normally take a different exit when I leave the building. God had a plan. And at that moment, his car started. You see, that is what I consider good people are like candles. You know, they burn themselves up to give others light. And that's what we are. We are a gift given to us all by God. Um, I'm looking at my, my sheet here. There's people commenting, saying that I've done good deeds and I continue to do things and asking me if the car started. Yes, the car did start. That's, we just got to that. So I'm, I'm trying to, this is my first time uh, broadcasting on Facebook and looking at two different things when I record. Normally, I have nothing to look at other than my microphone and I keep going. But, you know, help people. That's really what it's all about. It's helping people even when you know they can't help you back. And that's the biggest thing in life that we're going to encounter. You know, as the holiday season fast approaches and more people continue to struggle because they will. They're trying to make all ends meet. The the weather's going to get colder. The bills go up. One of the things that will happen is that people will start to struggle. People will start to battle new storms. People will ask for help. People sometimes won't even ask for help, but you know they need it. And like I just said, help people even when you know they can't help you back. You can't wake up in the morning and say, it's all about me. Sometimes it's not about us. Sometimes it's about someone else. It's taking that, that just that one second, that one minute to do everything and anything you can to help people, to put a smile on their face. Only by giving are you able to receive more than you already have. God is always, always, God is a, a huge instrumental part of that. He continues to teach all of us that sometimes when you give, you really receive. And I believe that. You know, a long time ago, when I was born, um, my mom told me that, you know, there were a lot of things that she noticed um, when I was growing up. She noticed that I never stopped smiling. She noticed that I was always willing to help people. Um, but I'm going to be honest with all of you, as some of you are new to this uh, platform and they're listening to us and watching us on Facebook, this is called Have Faith, Let It Begin. We've been on the air now since June 16th, June 15th to be exact. 
Um, and one of the things that I've promised each and every one of you on a weekly basis is that I do not hold back, that I do not um, edit our shows. So when I make a mistake, I learn to live with it and I move forward because none of us are perfect. Only one person is perfect, the man upstairs. But the one thing that I want to encourage all of you is this. When you battle your storms, when you're struggling, keep your faith. Know that we are all, at one point or another, been put in a position where we feel backed up into a corner where we can't even breathe. But if you have faith, if you trust in your friends, if you believe in yourself, you will overcome those odds. Continuing with this story, um, I went through a huge difficult part in my life, as many of you know in previous episodes, and now I'm telling this to you literally by you seeing me. I've battled many different challenges in my life, from having back surgery to having those odds against me and overcoming them. I've battled breakups. I've battled struggles with friendships, loss of friendships. I have had people in my past cheat on me. I have had uh, people try to stab me in the back in the workforce. But I continue to get up. I continue to smile. I continue to learn. And I continue to do any and everything I can to make everything and anything work for me. Each and every day, we're going to battle storms. Each and every day, you're going to encounter new people in your life they're going to ask you or may not even ask you for help, but you know they need it. I encourage each and every one of you to help those that are in need, even if they don't ask. I especially reach out to every single person that's watching today, every single person that is a child, a teenager, or a young adult. Don't forget about your parents. Don't allow your immaturity to take over what is very mature, and that is being a good son or daughter. And that includes grandparents. That includes being a good brother or sister. That includes being a good influence in their, you know, in their presence. And that's really what it's all about. So as you all know, our show is normally on a weekday basis, and I try to keep it between 8 to 10 minutes. But when we go live, we tend to go a little over. And I don't want to over stay my welcome on this first ever broadcast through Facebook. Because after a while, you may want to move on to something else. So let me enclose by saying this. Don't forget about your parents. Don't forget about others. Being successful doesn't necessarily make you great. What makes you great is when you reach back and you help somebody else become great. And remember that as you move on on your daily life. For Half Faith, let it begin. My name is Angel. And as I close out our show, I'm putting my microphone back up. I say this. Half Faith, let it begin. And this is my goddaughter, Gabby Santana, with the use of her talent and her gifts and her treasure. She wrote this theme song for me when I asked her to write me a song for this show. And this is what she came up with. If you haven't had a chance, go to her YouTube channel, Gabby Santana. She is truly talented. Subscribe to her channel. For all of you out there, God bless you. Have a great weekend. And I look forward to seeing with you and doing this again very soon. God bless you. Have a great day. For those of you that are on Facebook uh, right now, this is something that I do after the show, a live show. Um, We do a prayer, and today I'm going to open up prayer. All right, so we're back on the air. This is the after edition to Have Faith and Let It Begin. And uh, what I do is after the uh, show is done airing, I uh, go to prayer. Um, I don't like to 
uh, force that on anyone. I don't believe that uh, uh, forcing uh, you know my faith on anyone is something that uh, I was taught to do. I, I don't believe in that. I think faith comes from within, and um, we are you know leaders by way of our action. So I'm just going to end in my in a prayer. And if any of you out there right now on Facebook would like for me uh, to pray for you, and if it's okay, I would be more than happy to do that. So I'm offering it out to you right now, since you're all watching. Um, if you are interested in prayer, please feel free to reach out to me as I will pray right now. Um, and let's let's go into prayer. <clears throat> 